welcome back to painting and decorating. A uh, quick video here for you on staircase stringings. Now, nine out of ten times, the crack. So look at that, all the way up there. Now, most people's solution: rake it out a little bit, put some filler, flexible filler over there. Um, silicon is one of the worst things you could ever put on there because paint doesn't like silicon. Um, so over the years we've tried solving them and they're not easy to solve because there's a lot of movement on staircases and it depends how well fitted they are. Now this piece is only uh, actually probably nailed into that wall um, and it, you can hear it's a little bit loose. I mean, the struts that go down keep everything up, so it's not unsafe. It's just flexing too much. Now, it's a painstaking job, but I've been digging the crack out and getting rid of all the old filler, um, cork, bits of polyfiller because cork over time loses all its moisture and it ends up going solid um, so dust mask on you can wear gloves as well I'm only going to show you this little bit here you can see all that crack there now if you was just to try and fill over the top of the eventually it would crack again because that has been there for years filled and filled and filled no one's ever solved it so best way to go about it actually let's have a look at that first that's rag rolling that awful stuff it's okay in small areas but not on the anyway back to this now got to take your time doing this because you don't want to be damaging the wood you don't want to be cutting through any wires that sounds daft but sometimes people just put wires where they want and so there could just be a wire around the back of the you've got to be careful uh, if, the, if there's any plugs below you above you check everything before you start let's, see, let's get into this they're not easy to open up sometimes Now, I might think that's it, but you can see, just, uh, let's have a look. you can see the crack is lying there inside. Now that filler is adhered to the wall, but then it's cracked all the way off this. So what you've got to try and do is dig that filler out that side it will come out eventually so, so. you've got to try and remove it all and then replace it with foam Eventually it gives up. And there's just a big void down the back of the that fellas fell off somewhere. Look at that bit. There's just a you can see there's just a quarter of an inch, half inch of filler, and then nothing. Big void. Show you how to sort that. Here we go, we found one of the old time favourites to fill a gap. Newspaper. Let's have a look, 
see how old that is. Well, <clears throat> there's no dates on it, but um, definitely a sign I need a holiday. Talking Millwood Hotel, Victoria Park Hotel. Mm. France and Spain. Time share. I need a holiday. That's all cleaned out now, ready for the next stage. Now, a lot of people don't like this. Diluted PVA. One of the most important things a decorator can use. And just allow that to soak into that crack. I mean, at this point, you don't really want to be splashing it everywhere and getting it all over the woodwork. It's just going down into that crack. You don't want loads, you just want enough to bond either side together when the foam goes in. Um, you don't even allow, have to allow it to dry either. You can just, as soon as you've put it in, get your foam in. Now, once you put this in, just wipe back any mess on the stringing. Don't leave any runs like that. It actually went tight along there. No, it's not too bad. By the time I've filled this up here, put some in here, it'll be secure enough. Gloves, newspaper, carpet's been replaced. You can really guess that. Now, there's quite a big void down the back. So, that came out a little bit too fast. You can get uh, guns with cartridges. But can't be bothered myself. This, this does me fine. So in certain areas you want to put more in, and then other areas just let it run across the top. So it all expands. I say I'm doing this with one hand. So Usually you'd help that nozzle in a little bit, but you get the idea. So. Now, people worry about the expansion of this foam. Now, if you put too much foam in this small gap, and it's got nowhere to expand, and so we got this little small gap to come out, then you may get it pushing something off. But, as long as there's enough gap for the expansion to take place either side, so it fills the void and comes out the excess, that's what you want. So I'm going to finish filling this now. Once it's dry, I'll show you cutting it back. I'll just show you some more of the cracks that have been raking out and filling. On there, couple of that. Now, unless I use the foam on these, they will come back eventually. Because people just go over these with cork. You can see, there's just a massive void at the back there. So unless you fill up from the back, there's no point in just topping the top because the crack will come back. And you can see it there. I've not finished that bit there because there's no point. Once I fill that, that won't come back. There you go. See the little fine crack going off there. So the only way to get rid of that, 
I'll break that out a little bit, is to foam these up. All hollow. And there's crap, like I say, around the ceiling up there. Um, again, found these door casings, little fine cracks. But once you get into it, you can see there's just big voids. Everything moves. Again, up here, big crack up there, small cracks. All good fun, but as decorators, we can sort all this out. That's cured, doesn't set long in the right conditions. So, I'm going to cut this back now. <clears throat> That's what I usually use. What you want to do is make sure the foam's pushed back enough so that when you actually put your filler over the top, there's a decent enough depth of filler. Just don't forget that foam is filled up the back. I'm just going to give that a light sand um, and then it's ready for its first fill. Blades, filling blades, very important. Now, there's two edges to fill really. You've got the wall and the stringing. Now on the first fill, you might get away with filling both of them. I and mean, then you might get away with filling both of them on the second fill, but sometimes it's easier to fill one, let it dry and then fill the other create yourself a really nice neat edge. That's not too bad. And 
I'm going to leave that for the first fill. What I'll probably do is clean that up when it's dry. Fill it again like I have filled it. And then I may fill this, the um, right angle bit with my finger after for a third fill. Because sometimes things don't like sharp edges. I prefer just a slight curve, especially paint with this capillary action. It's always about getting your first fill, more or less, and then leaving it. Don't leave any thick lumps of filler. It just makes your life harder. So I'll finish filling this, allow it to dry, and then second fill, and then probably do a third fill just to make sure on that edge. And it's all done. But that's how you sort cracks out permanently. Now. I'll be doing another video on this job, papering the stairwell at some point. That's another nice Laura Ashley. Um, so you can join me in that video and we can have a look at the stringing. That's it for this video.